is all you'll need for my crab bisque. Get yourself a fresh dressed crab. You could use a tin of crab meat if you like, but like all recipes, your food will taste a lot better if you use fresh ingredients. Have a stick of celery, carrot, an onion, a couple of cloves of garlic, some tomato puree, fresh sprig of thyme, a couple of bay leaves, some white wine, some brown rice as a thickening agent. We need some chicken stock and finishing it off with some double cream. Into a pan with some olive oil. Heat up. Then you're going in with your chopped up carrot, celery, and your onion. I'm going to fry them gently for five minutes while the veg are frying away. Get the flesh out of your crab and put the shell into a little plastic bag. Wrap it up, wrap it again in a bit of a towel and then you want to break it up so bash it to pieces with whatever comes to hand. When your veg have softened down, release the flavours, time to go in with the thyme, a couple of bay leaves, get them in there to release their flavours as well. And then in with your bashed up crab shell. Get that stirred in there. And on a low flame, just give that a few minutes, release its flavour. When your crab shells had a few minutes, time to go in with your couple of cloves of garlic. and about a tablespoon of your tomato puree. Give that a whisk round just to heat the tomato puree through. And then to really get some flavour in there I like to go in with the brown crab meat. Save the white crab meat for later. Once that's all had a few minutes heating through, it's time to go in with your white wine. A good glassful, and that will de deglaze the bottom of your pan. After a few minutes, while it's been steaming away the alcohol and the wine, last thing you're going to do is to put in a litre of chicken stock. Then you're just going to let this simmer for around 15 minutes. When it's been simmering away, turn it off the heat, then you can take some of this foam off that's formed on the top. Not be too worried about it though. So you've still got pretty watery substance there, but absolutely full of flavour. So, get your sieve, and the tricky part is to get it into another pan. Then it's back on with the heat, and into there I'm going with three tablespoons of your rice. Then we're going to simmer that until the rice is cooked. When your rice is cooked, turn it off the heat and it's time to go in with some seasoning. So, salt, pepper, obviously adjust it to your taste, but mix that in, you can see that your rice has been cooked. Then let it cool down a bit you're going to put it into a blender. You don't want to be putting boiling liquids into a blender. So into the blender it goes. And it's been in the blender. 
back into the pan. And into there, you're going in with your remaining crab meat that you saved. And just for that extra bit of decadence, you double cream. And there you have a delicious tasting crab bisque.